Assistant Coach Fazinkas here. Uh, first episode of El Gallinero. We got the head gaffer, Ben Carvis. Equipment master, mastermind, Spencer Laney here. And an interviewer, that's it. And we got an interviewer. Ghost interviewer. Ghost interviewer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tough result today. Roja League took the L, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, we're here to talk, talk a little bit of shit. Talk about Roja League, talk about soccer in general. So let's get after it. So we're gonna we're gonna focus on so, so let's let's explain everybody that's listening right now to the podcast. We're not gonna bore you with a bunch of bullshit about California soccer, about a bunch of MLS, because you can go to ESPN. No, you can't go to ESPN because they're not good enough for that. Let's uh, <laughs> you can go to uh, what's it called? Uh, Bent's Sports to go to the MLS. But anyways, we're gonna focus on local soccer. Just Texas, just mainly DFW, right? So we're gonna, uh, you know, and we're gonna talk, you know, shit about ourselves too, because there's a lot of stuff that we do wrong, uh, but we do mostly better than others. So, anyways, uh, let's get started. So, first of all, we're getting ready for the podcast. You know, it's the first time. We had a couple of pre-runs, but you know the IT guy fucked up. Uh, he needs a, he needs an Ethernet cable for everything he you know everything he wants to do. Third time's the charm. Exactly. Uh, the charm. We're getting primed up. We're gonna have so we have some shots. You know, build up some uh, liquid courage, uh, and then we had, we ate some burn burgers uh, thanks to Spencer. Cheeseless. Yeah, uh, cheeseless. No cheeseless. Cheese. No cheese. But uh, at the end of the day, look, guys, you know what really grinds my gears is that we go to the fucking website for the Roja League. Go ahead and show them, man. Go to the, go to the website and look at this bullshit. Roja look, League look, so look at this bullshit. Look, look you click on, click on, click on everything. Click on everything. Nothing. Nothing. Click on the outlaws. It's unreal. Boom. Oh. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> They're website. Yeah. Who's running? Oh. What's going on with that? Uh, Triangle Sentence. Triangle Sentence. Triangle Sentence. There we go. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Unheard of. Come on, boys. Come on, man. Let me get that together. Yeah. But let's look. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's talk about a little bit about. Uh, uh, let's go to the scores. Let's go to the uh, the table. Let's go to the table. See where see where everybody's at. So this is so this, um, this isn't the updated table, but. Um, what I love about the Roja League right now, I mean, it it really, I mean, anyone could win on any day. Um, it happened in the summer, the same thing. Every team pretty much had a chance for the playoffs coming down to the last day, and I mean, it looks looks very similar after after three games. <coughs> I mean, it happened um, today. Mm -hmm. We saw it today. Yeah, in the centres, lost to um, the Vaqueros today, one 0 so um, that puts the Vaqueros back in there. And, um, Estudiantes are one three from three, and they look they look the team to beat right now. Um, but we go there on on Wednesday to play them, and I I mean, I think we've got the the players, and the, the ability to to compete with them and and go put on a show. And we I mean let's now. let's be real. We're gonna give it at, like we take it. Let's be real. We lost against FC. What are they name? FC Harrington. We lost against a, a UPSL team. I mean low tier team. Uh, it's run by a father and son. I mean, uh, they're, they're coaches. I mean, kudos to them, but let's be real. Not real coaches, not real, not a real team, and a nice NPSL quality team lost to them. So, so what's going on? What, what, what are we going to do from here? Yeah, I mean, we've got to look at ourselves in the mirror for sure. Um, we've got to look at, look at ourselves, look at the players, um, and just kind of keep reflecting and, and moving forward. At the moment, we just seem to be struggling to really score goals. Um, and we know we've got goal scorers in the team. We've seen them done it. I mean, Mark... Um, led the Roja League led, last yeah, year in goal scoring. Scored eight goals last time and came off the bench for a few of those. So um, he, he's got goals in his back. has got goals in him. Sam we seems to see score goals <laughs> at a good level. It's so, I mean, there. there's goals in our team. We just need to get that confidence going. I think if we get get one or two goals and I mean like every game we've played it's we've been in it the whole time it's been we've battled it out through and through and results just haven't fallen our way I mean there, there's things we can work on obviously but at the end of the day we are right there and uh, I, I've got a strong strong feeling that we can go in this game on Wednesday and compete 100% and 
we can change things up altogether for the entire cool. league. Okay. So yeah. who's, who's Irving? Uh, let me cut you off for a little. Who's Irving playing next Wednesday? Because they're playing Wednesday, right? We just lost. You, you guys just lost against uh, FC Harrington. Yeah. So who are you guys playing against on Wednesday? We're playing against the Studiantes on on Wednesday. Who have won three from three so far. Um, so that's by far the best team right now. So yeah. far, yeah. Let's be real. Let's give them. Let's give them a round of applause because yeah, yeah, they're they're, 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 doing, they're doing a great job for just being so fresh. Yeah, no, Garza's just taking them over. Sam Garza and he's um, doing a great job. Um, they got a lot of good young young players. A few SMU boys, uh, MSU boys. Um, so they look to be the team to beat right now, and hopefully we can go in and be the team to beat. Yeah, them. I mean, What's the name of that coach? Uh, Sam Garza. Sam Garza. Is he, is he, a, is he a player? Okay. XMLS player. I yeah. mean, he's a stud. Sam he's, Garza. A, he's a high school coach for Allen? Or? No, 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 no. For Capel. Capel, Capel. But is he Whatever. coaching and playing or just coaching? Because from what I heard, some teams in the, in the, in the, uh, in the Roja League, they have their coach playing. Is that is that true or false? He's not one of them. <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's, he's strictly he's behind the scenes. He, was, he played last year for the Denton Diablos. But uh, he's behind the scenes this year. Last last I checked, Fordo had their coach playing. How do how, how do you feel about that? Hey, Make sure want to get on the field. Hey, I mean, if I could play, you know, that'd be a bit beyond that. But I'm, I'm, I'm coaching, for, goals. coaching for a reason. I want to score thirty goals. I like to just just talk. You think you can still do it? I don't think I, I don't <laughs> think I can do it at this level. I'd love to be able to, but yeah. if you can, why not? I mean, I don't. Me personally, so it's like no, I, I really want to ask uh, Bob, right, which is the owner of Fordo. <laughs> are you paying him twice? Because you, are you paying him to play? You're paying him to coach. I mean, that, uh, is he writing two checks? If, if what's going the, on here? That, I want to know. If that's the case, I'll gladly suit up for, for the guy. <laughs> no, I, I want to know what's happening. Pay me twice, boss man. Come on. <laughs> uh, I mean, who knows on that front? But um, but I mean, Fordo, I think they lost a, a Studiantes, but they got they got a good point. Um, today against the Diablos, I know they think they conceded in the last minute. I don't know what happened at the end of the game because I saw quite a few tweets about um, the fight. Right, somebody was fighting. Fight fight. Fight. Let's, let's go ahead and go on Twitter. You know, we're high tech here, I mean, fellas. Yeah. We got it all figured out. I don't know about that. Something's we just had this bad boy installed today. Something. Uh, uh, something uh, definitely happened. Uh, we can go. We can go and have a look at the. Uh, let's go to the Diablos, maybe. Diablos, I saw see. I saw the AT and T guy is still wiring the wiring the cables on the back of the wall. <laughs> we got it. We got it. We saw it today, boys. Uh, they got the pin. Two two tie. This uh, is the goal for. Um... That ball. That ball. That ball. Line should have been sent off there. I don't know. It's definitely on the line. It didn't need the. Uh, Oh wow! Yeah. Off one. So yeah, that's 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 that piece is on that front. But, um, I don't know if he's got anything on here. Um, it looks like four or two one up in seventy third minutes. So I mean, it's, it seemed a good game. Um, so what were they saying about a fight? I really, I we want the gossip. Yeah, we I don't, want I, I don't the know gossip. Was, I don't know if it was a fight. I saw, I noticed that Damon had posted something about trying to stay classy, win, lose, or tie. Oh, uh, what's so, it? He was deleted? I no, I don't know if Denton posted it. It was. Uh, oh wow! Hey, 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 Hitchcock must have called him. You better delete that boy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he might have been on these, this page here. Yeah. Hard fingers, justice served. Well done. Uh, so I don't know what happened. When was your draw? Yeah, you yeah. There you go. So, I mean, something happened. Uh, I mean, I don't know what. I'm not sure we're here. Uh, hey, maybe the coach something. wanted to be the water boy, too. <laughs> I mean, he's coaching, he's playing, he wants to be the water boy. Next thing, he's going to want to take Danny's job and be the IT guy. I mean, <laughs> bring him in. I mean, he's a, he's a you know, jack of all trades. He might be able to hook up a microphone. Hey, yeah. yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Like, like, just looking at these games, I mean, every. Every game's been pretty, pretty close and come down to, to certain. Oh, it's very competitive. Goals. From, from what I can tell, it's it really is competitive. competitive. It's just great that there's a competitive league um, in the winter, and there's it's now obviously just been in the summer as well. And if you can get competitive games, because I mean these players just need games um, to keep developing. They get to 18 and go to the college season, and there's what 20 games in in 10 weeks. It's all condensed and you just bang, 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 playing, 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 and then. You stop for eight, nine months and there's nothing to do. Yeah. Okay, you, so... Right, yeah, no, I'm just saying, I mean, now that there's... I mean, five years ago there wasn't this, and, and now the Rohalis come, MPSL's got bigger, and there's there's just much more 
Um, There's more exposure. So. For Can you imagine yeah. what type of talent will be in the United States today if we had this back when you guys were, uh, you know, 15, 14, like 10, 10 years from, from today? Yeah, no, I mean... It will be crazy. Uh, uh, Gilbert, uh, Gilbert Mendoza, the CFO of Urban, is going to be joining later, and he said it. He was an All-American. I don't know if he was lying to, to, the, interview, <laughs> to the interviewers, <laughs> but he said he was an All-American. Yeah. And, uh, he said it. If the UPSL and NPSL was alive back when I was in high school, I would have been on, you know, probably <laughs> playing for Man City. Well, just, Those were his words. <laughs> Man City, fellas. Man City. He didn't say the MLS. He said Man City. I mean, he's, 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 he's definitely tugging your chain a little bit, but <laughs> but there was definitely a. There was not near as much opportunities. Uh, I believe PDL was really the only thing back then. Yeah. And uh, a lot of that was politics, to be able to get in. They didn't really necessarily go off skill. I mean, if there was anything when I was coming out of high school, I skipped out of college. I didn't have the grades to go. I didn't care too much. I loved partying and drinking beer. But I was a fucking baller. And uh, that could have been an opportunity for me to get seen by not only just professional teams, but college Coaches are watching these games. Oh, yeah. You, I mean, we've got kids that are playing JUCO and second division. SMU coaches are looking out here. MSU, fucking, we've got, there's big name college programs watching these games and looking for players. I mean, the exposure is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. No, they, 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 Urban FC has, I don't mean to cut you off, man, but Urban FC has this baller named Nijay. Is his name? I mean, he's pretty good. I like. I mean, I've seen him play. I think he's a he's a pretty good baller. So yeah, no, I mean, he's got the um, he's got the passion and the drive, yeah, he's got to, the drive to wanna sure. to wanna go to that next level, and it's a, just a great opportunity for him as well as exposure. a lot of other people to exposure. get that exposure and really try and you know this is me playing at a higher level and <coughs> showing people what what you can do and um, and that's that's what that's what this needs to do and that's what what we're here for is, is development and. I mean, it's all about, yes, we want results, and yes, we want to win, but we also want to be able to develop these, these younger players and, and really uh, just give them a platform to be able to push on to that next level. Okay, so given all that, all right, so with our, our team specifically, our performance, in-game, from a layman's perspective, we seem to be able to perform pretty adequately as far as defense. We have been able, in the past two games that I've observed, we've been able to hold for a good 85% of the game tied up. Our failing is in the red zone. You can't All right. All right. Here we go with this. All right. Here we go with this. This is too bad. We're good already. I think this is going to be a layman's perspective. Final third, man. Call it football. Call it soccer. No, no, European football. All right. Call it soccer. Okay. From a layman's perspective. You might be bad. Our failing. Our failing. You might be bad, but that's a real thing. So, from my perspective, we are able to get it right there. We're able to get it in the in the final third, and we're not able to capitalize on good positioning. Our players aren't able, to, aren't able to make goals when they should. What can we do? What sort of training could we work on to improve our final third performance? Because we've got the defense. In our previous game, we were able to go 90 minutes, no score. We were able to put up hard defense the entire game, but we couldn't capitalize on our performance in yeah. the red zone. Nah, 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 nah. So, so what can we do? No, I understand, what can we I understand do? the point, and, um, and like I say, every every game that we've we've been a part of these last these last three games are really, um, I mean, it's it's right there. I mean, yeah. each game has been decided on just just certain moments. I mean, we missed a penalty. And then we make one mistake and, and concede a goal against inner centers. Um, we missed big chances, hit the post a couple of times. Have some, a couple goals called off back against and, the heroes. So, I mean, it's right there. And each game is, is all about these moments. And I think at this next level, we're, we're learning that we've just got to manage these moments better. Um, okay. I, think, I think, you know, when we have that five minutes of, like, we're really on top of this team, can we then take <coughs> our chances and... And that, and, or maybe we're under the cosh for a little bit for the last, you know, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever it is. And can we, can we just concentrate and lead and dig in and get out of that period of not conceding goals? Because, 
each each game is gonna gonna swing at different times, and it's all about managing the game. And um, the biggest thing for us is, I think it's just our confidence. And we've got we've got goal scorers. We've, we've seen these boys score goals. Ballers, you know, ballers. Yeah, we've seen them score goals, and they 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 finish in training or what it is, and it just I just needs one to hit the back of the net. And I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's that it's that initial goal. Yeah. And that sets, you know, a reverse snowball. Yeah, you, you know, see it. Once you hit one, you guys develop the confidence to score another and another. another. But that's that's been, you know, in my perspective, the issue is that we have we are having that, that trouble hitting that first goal. Yeah. I mean you see it you see it in the best drugs in the world that go for a drought of, you know, three, four games not scoring and suddenly and then bam three or four come at once so, I mean it, it happens at, at all types of levels so there is a precedent for going through oh, it happens, like, a dry spell yeah, yeah it happens a lot and a it's just slump. trying to you know you just got to keep working and okay. dedicating and not not feel down and just you know just keep working your best and it'll push it's through because that's what the great ones do Exactly. There we go. So Harry Kane, I hope he's just always in the drought. So I think, I think, I think we're going to start every episode, every episode, we're going to take a shot. And we're going to call an official, we're going to call the team of the podcast. What, 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 we, what, what should we call it? I want to give props to one team that we all pick, right, for doing great things. Or uh, and thing. we're gonna take a shot on for, on that team. So we're gonna call it like player of the uh, player of the podcast, team, of the, team podcast. of the podcast, right? So yeah, team of the match so let's day. go to let's go to the Royal High League website real quick, and let's 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 talk about the teams real quick. Uh, okay, so Denton Estudiantes. Let's be real; they got a lot of ballers, but I mean, uh, great ownership. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I think right now, I mean, top they've, down. they've got to be yeah. sort of the, the team of the podcast right now. Yeah. They've, they've won each game, they're undefeated, they're in top place. Um, what about Inocentes? Inocentes, they they're pretty good. They're good. Uh, they they always have ballers. They always have great competition. They lost today. Great chemistry, but they lost yeah, today. So today, yeah. so yeah. cross them out, cross them out. Uh, let's go to FC Harrington. They beat us. And they beat. Hey, uh, let's be honest. They, they it's a. Uh, uh, Premier Legends. Premier Legends. Yeah, the new boys on the block this season, yeah. and uh, they beat them. So yeah. I think after today's result, they'll actually be That's number ten. two. Yeah, number two. Ten. All right, so we got Estudiantes and Harrington. What about Foro? They got the waterboard. They got the waterboard playing. They got the coach playing. I wouldn't be surprised if Bob, the owner, is gonna be playing next time. So let's. Yeah, we're crossing them out. Five hundred bucks a training session. Yeah, five hundred. Five fifty. Five fifty. Five fifty. Okay, Premier Legends. I don't even know who they are. So I. Legends. A lot of young talent. Um, Elementary. They played together for a while and and that sort of thing. I think they're just. They're in that same sort of. Thing as us of just the experience factor of these games are about big moments and capitalizing a certain moment. I mean they were four one up against Innocentes, which yeah. Yeah. which put themselves in a really good spot. With, a, with just, a man down at Innocentes. Yeah. And, yeah. and it just kind of I don't know it was just, the experience to see a game out and then they obviously the other team got down to ten oh, Harrington was down to ten men against them as well. So um so I mean yeah they they, they've got the talent, that's for sure. It's just learning about those little experiences, I think. Ready for tea, Governor? Urban, 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 Probably our worst outing of the season today, honestly, in, in my in my in my opinion. Uh, but we did a lot of things right in the first half. We fell a little bit behind in the second half. As soon as they got that PK, which in my opinion wasn't a PK. Sorry, sorry, middle ref. I don't agree with you. I would like to check his cash out. He, 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 he got paid. He got paid a little bit. But regardless, uh, after that first goal. We fell behind and we never really caught. We just never caught our. We never caught the win. We got the wind knocked out a little bit and we let our guards down and they capitalized on a second goal and we just couldn't. We couldn't come back from it. Yeah, we got. We got to look at ourselves. But to get mentally, get these boys ready to play every game. Um, and I think that's that's on on me and Janos for sure and trying to just get these boys ready and prepared for whatever whatever time on the training ground we can and just keep them. Keep keep them positive. I think yeah. is, is the biggest thing. We just got to keep them heads up, chin up. Is up. The best we've got it we've got we've got it all there, and I don't want to make excuses. There's no real excuses that 
like today, it's just, it's just it's a bad result. But yeah. I mean, you go and, and you look at the table, it's, it's still very tight and it's there, there for the taking. And if we can go and cause an upset against the Studiantes on Wednesday, which I'm, I'm positive we can, we can yeah. do. Um, Get it going. Then, then the whole table turns. Well, we turn and it around against. for everybody, not just us, but for everybody. Yeah. I mean, that puts everything back into a whole shit. Anybody um, can make this final four, I mean, just like last year. We had a really good game against the last game. We had a really good game against the Studiantes last time. Yeah. Um, we fell down two. I think it was two nil. Two pretty nil. Quickly, like in the first 10, 15 minutes, we didn't yeah. come out well, and then. Then we really pulled it back and it ended up 3-3. Ended up 3-3 tie, yeah. Um, we've, sounds like we're getting a lot of excuses, fellas. Let's go to number eight. Uh, what about Vaqueros? What do you, what, what we got to say about Vaqueros? I mean, they, they took a good result today against Innocentes. Uh, I, I feel, I personally feel they have a bit of a better squad than they had last year. Uh, but, I mean, just like us, they're... They're in it just as much as anybody else's. I mean, yeah, last year they had a lot of the guy. I think they had the taco guy, you know, playing. He was like forty pounds of their weight. They they didn't have a lot of talent back then. But I wasn't on their team. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I wasn't playing for them. Was so one through there. eight, one through eight. I give my nomination to number three, FC Harrington, because we might give them a lot of shit, but they're doing it. They're doing a good thing. All bullshit aside, they're bringing great talent. Uh, they, they know what they're doing. They have a great lineup. You can tell they're motivated. They want to kill. They got killers in that team. Uh, applause to them. So my vote goes for team of the month, oh, team of the podcast, FC Harrington. So uh, My team of the podcast is a studio right now. I think they're doing, they look like the class above at the moment. Until, until next podcast when we've hopefully beaten them, and then, uh, then it'll be a different, I, different thing. But. I've got to follow suit with Ben. I mean, 4 0. I mean, they're flying. They're scoring goals. They're not letting goals in. But they've conceded two, three all. Yeah, three all season so far. I mean, they're flying. They're the team to beat. So I'm going to give it up to them as well. Spencer? Honestly. Renzo. 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 He was a New England Patriots. <laughs> He's nominated the New England Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> From my perspective, as limited as my knowledge is, and it's growing as I spend time with this team and this organization, and being part of the Euroha League and you know the NPSL. Going forward, I I recognize Irving FC for not only the coaches and he the, wants a race. <laughs> I'm gonna recognize Irving FC because we you know, lost. We have no, no, no. We we have we did lose. We did lose. Yes, but uh, oh, man, I know. It's about the team. Hey, the Christmas, team. Bonus. Christmas. Christmas bonus. Christmas <laughs> bonus. Uh, no, no, no. We have guys that play 90 minutes nonstop and give it their all. You know, we have players that will fight when it seems like there's nothing left to fight for. When you're playing any kind of sport, when you're doing any kind of competition, fighting to the bitter end, even when you know you've lost, even when you know you've lost, shows what kind of performer you are, what kind of athlete you are. I think that's and the, we have those. That's the minimum standard, though, I think, for, for any player right now. Yes, yes. Yeah, but even... They should, they should fight. That should be a, a given. Almost. It is a given. It, it, it is a given. But, you know... When you know you have leagues with varying standards of what kind of players they'll take, when you have teams that'll just pay their players, and it doesn't matter whether they win or lose, they get paid. <clears throat> That's not the kind of athlete you want. You want the kind of athlete that'll play without having a paycheck, that will fight 90 minutes and give their all just to be part of that organization. And we have those kinds of... All right, fuck it. He's got the bonus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he got the bonus. Uh, well, it's all okay. so that, so that, that being said, majority ru- rules. Yeah, and hey, then they have the end of this. It's the Cheers. Cheers. Congrats. Cheers. Hey, uh, team, of team, team of the podcast. Team of the podcast. podcast. Cheers. Team of the podcast. No, I agree. I agree with that. And uh, next, we will do... The big shot. Player of the podcast. <laughs> Are we ready? Are we ready for player of the podcast? Or we haven't done our research. Let's do player of the podcast. Well, I mean, um, there's there's a few uh, 
Stay classy, you know, DFW. Nom- nominations on, on player of the pod. Can we speak, uh, before we do that, maybe a little bit of a player of the game for Gaios? I mean, I know we took a tough result, but do you have any thoughts on that? Who really stood out today for us? I mean... Anybody in particular? My, me, personally, I thought Colby played extremely well today. Uh... Col- uh, all, all, he's our left bat, our left wing back, uh, Colby Parton. He's uh, honestly he's balled out all season. I haven't really seen many mistakes for him today. He was solid, making his runs, good balls in, didn't lose much. Uh, personally, for me, and he's uh, he's been outstanding. So. Yeah, no, he's, he de- he's, he's, de- he's, yeah. he's definitely. Um, pull up his picture. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, go to uh, yeah, well, let's go get a look at this. Uh, let's get a look at this. Yeah, 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 you want to see the uh, NFC website? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, because we can't go through it through the lower. But I don't oh, think yeah. I don't think his picture's loaded. Yeah, yeah, is it? Yeah, the picture's probably not. Yeah, the profile. Yeah, that's the. Uh... <clears throat> his Twitter is at underscore Colby Parton underscore. <laughs> Oh, who's taking care of this website? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what? Team shout out towards the team. See what goes on right there. I don't know what team is going on right there. Kobe Parker. He's not in there yet. He's not in there yet. No, he's not on there. Oh, he's not in there yet. We gotta load him up. Oh, the coaches are there. We gotta get the IT guy. Oh, come on, Danny. Come on. Yeah, he just ain't in the game. He just ain't in the game. That's fine, yeah. Can you go to uh, can you, does he have a Twitter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah go, go to his Twitter, go to his Twitter. Do a quick little shout out. Let's see where I'm Little shout out. Player, player of the podcast. We'll make him player of the podcast. Oh, no, no, we'll do, we'll, we'll just give it a shout out for, for busting his ass and what's going on. I, I just, he's been playing very well for us. And, uh, Austin, Miss West, yeah. Miss Austin, there our boy, Colby Parton. It just a pick. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 He got a little thug in him. He got a little thug in him. Yeah. Little thug in him. Yeah. All right, pretty boy. We're a little thugging him. Nah, but yeah, he's been he's, he's been solid for us for the last yeah. sort of uh, three games, really. And um, I mean, yeah, I, I'd, I'd agree. To Scroll to his picture again. Okay. There you go, Midwestern. Okay. Soccer is Justin Bieber. <laughs> but yeah, so no, we got a guess, guys. Oh, let's, let's go. Let's finish the. Uh... Yeah, no, I think he's been playing playing very well. He's he's. So he's player of the match. He's solid. Uh, we yeah, we so gave him the player of the match. I thought um, Felipe played played pretty well. He gets on the ball, yeah. little touches. But I think what we want from him is a bit more of end product from him. Like, trying to beat players, get shots. In the red zone. Ball. In the red zone. <laughs> and that's my biggest thing for that we're asking. Are there players. so so what are there any pointers that you could tell him to become a better player? I mean, I think there's, you know, there's things that we go... Because anybody can improve. In any yeah. business, and, oh, we have a guest. Go ahead, sit down, and I'll, we'll introduce you. Uh, but look, in any business, any uh, any kind of organization, you can always improve, right? Yeah, so absolutely. he's a great player. What would you uh, say that you could do, that he could do in order to become a better player? I just think he's got to be able to make decisions a little bit quicker in that in, that, um, in the final third. Um, but we try to get our attackers to, you know, if you're in that final third, to, to take risks, you know. Just yeah. See if we can beat players, take shots, get crosses in, however it is. Don't be passive or maybe just trying to keep the ball a little bit more. Let's try and take risks in that final third. If you give the ball away, yeah, I'm fine with it. As long as you've gone and taken a risk and taken, tried to score a goal of some sort, you know. Instead well, of sometimes taking it, making an more, attempt to make a goal yeah, instead of passing it to no end. Sometimes we're too passive and want to come back and keep the ball. And yeah, but keeping the ball looks pretty. But once we get into that final fur, can we make something happen by beating somebody, putting them under pressure, getting a shot off? In the red zone. Yeah, you're you're fine. Fine. Cheers. You're fine. So player of the match. match. <laughs> what is this? Red Colby red Parton, red player of the match. Cheers. Oh, Colby Parton. Cheers. Cheers. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Jeez, what a, what so, what did I uh, walk into? Okay, so and uh, we have a guest, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, can we can we see it? The uh, in, it's going to the DFW had the UPSL ten years ago. Is that been good? Been in, uh, Mr. All American. All American. All American. 
Yeah. 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 Ye
I like everything they're doing, not just on the field, but off the field as well. They have their own store. They have, they even have their own support group. They're doing great, yo. Yeah, they're, they're doing great. Kudos. Yeah. yeah. No, they are. This is it. This is the. Uh, uh, go to yeah, the school down. Tweets are up on. Yeah, keep two hours going down. Keep going down. Keep going down. Keep going down. Uh, David there, said it. There's there. the results. Oh, yeah. The standings. Yeah. Yeah. The standings. Yeah. Oh, we can look at the, let's look at those results. Mm -hmm. So we got Estudiantes win four 0 over Premier. Harrington beating us 2-0 in the unfortunate result today in Fort Worth. Vaqueros 1-0 and 2-2. So I think after today... Well, Diablos tied 4-2-2. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They came it was a last-minute goal back. by Diablos to, to get it back. Jam ball. We were talking about it earlier, but there was a, um, there was a big... There's something happening. There's something happening in the game. Some, some kind of controversy. Really? Yeah. But, but Damon... Um, Damon well, said Denton stay classy. Denton Harp, yeah. Power Ringer said stay classy. Really? Like, win, lose, or tie. Yeah, yeah. Four so something happened. 4 -oh, 4 -oh, they have those players, man, that are, <clears throat> that are just like... They all, they they grind out results and they try to pester you. They try to dirty up the game. Are they paid players? Yeah. And sometimes that's experience. I mean, yeah, exactly. you've, got to, you've got to do that in some certain times. Win, lose, or draw. They they have no no. Look, I, I'll, I'll say I'll say it today and I'll say it tomorrow and I'll say it the day after. When you want something and you're willing to do whatever it takes to get it. You're gonna get it, and if they want that W, and they got they gotta play dirty, they gotta fight, and they gotta fight for that inch. Hey, kudos to them because that's what Irving FC is fucking missing. I'll say it today, that's what they're missing. Okay, so we can say whatever we want about them, but at the end of the day, yeah. they're getting the W. They're they're eating. Okay, they're well, going they're after the it and they're fucking they're getting they're it. The tide, the tide. Yeah, but time. then again. They got the coach got playing the and being the water boy and shit. Maybe so. <laughs> that's the key. Yeah. Hey. It's a missing piece. He's trying to, yep. Yep. But yeah, no, like I say, um, I think the Diablos are, are definitely running running a good ship over there. And Hitch, and we've just got a new, another new team of Appalachian State, was it? What yeah, was that? What Appalachian State. Oh, here we go. We're not here to do plugs. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> we're not here to do plugs. Hey, listen, we're not here to do plugs. We <laughs> said we got to stick to Texas soccer, uh, that outside Texas of Texas. Texas. Okay, well, he's a part uh, of we're not here to plug nothing. Yeah. He's we're not here to plug nothing. He's the sport. Oh, uh, next thing he's going to be drinking a, 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 what, a, a, a seltzer? He's gonna be drinking seltzer instead hey, of. Uh, I, I, I ordered a sticker. I ordered a sticker for my cooler. Oh my god, he's gonna be taking a bite of a snicker right now. Sasquatch. Pull out his snicker out of his pocket. Not a sticker, a sticker. Get out of here. Get out of here. So anyway, yeah, I was hungry. Why we don't, don't want to know about that team. We don't want to know about that team. Uh, 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 plug it. Plug it. Plug it. Plug it. <laughs> oh my God. Real so back, back, back to Texas soccer. Have y'all have, have y'all looked at the goals yet? No. no. Yeah, we saw a couple. Of oh them. yeah, we well we saw the game tying goal from mm -hmm. Denton. Oh really? But no others. I can go on. Uh, go to the Twitter. I thought. Uh, yeah, that was full time. So back. Okay, okay, that, okay, fellas, back to Texas soccer. Okay, That's I know we have we have the row house. Wow, are you serious? They called the goal. It was across the line. Yeah, it was kind of stupid. Did you give a right card in this situation? Nah, he should. Wait, wait, wait. So, was that a goalie that knocked it out? No, that's a no, player. that was a that player. Was a oh, okay. He got, he got picked up by some volleyball recruiters, though, they say. Uh, <laughs> Damn, that's nuts. Yeah, that's so. Hey, I want to know. So, this, uh, 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 hey, because uh, we have... We're very fortunate to have the director, sporting director for Urban FC. So he's got. A, we, we can ask any kind of questions, and he'll be able to answer. So my question <laughs> is: No pressure. Are we using nothing personal? No pressure. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you said nothing personal. I'm like, okay. Let me, <laughs> let me, let me rephrase that. So, anyways, uh, are we using is uh, the Roja League? Are they using the same level? Of uh, uh, what would you say, picks or talent as far as refereeing than the UPSL and the NPSL? Is it like the same for every league, or is it better referees for NPSL, better referees after that for USL, or in the worst for you, uh, you, uh, N NP I mean, uh, UPSL. UPSL, how does that, how does that betting work? Well, I think definitely. The UPSL and the Roja League are very similar referee referee levels. Okay. Then MPSL is a way different level. Over there, they use you have to be in a certain shape, you have to run a certain mile time, 
you have to have so many games under your belt before you can referee those games. Oh wow! Usually, you say the rest of we have but not like that. No, not this, not this. Yeah, I mean, I can tell you already. Ball. I mean, we had Kevin Malone from the office referee our first game. Yeah. I mean, that guy was yeah. 200, 300 pounds easy. Oh, I saw. Yeah. yeah. I remember that one. <laughs> and so. He's looking for his chili. That's it. Yeah, exactly. So. Exactly. Kevin, if you're listening, I'm sorry. So the quali- <laughs> so the quality of officiating depends it, on the league that you're in. Absolutely. Exactly. I, because I mean, right? You want to. It's different levels, right? There's levels to everything, right? And and it also, you, it they made it affordable for everybody to pay the referees at this level. And obviously, you pay. You get what you pay for, right? So with with lesser referee fees, you're not going to get the top tier referees. Because you can, if you watch the games, you'll see that they don't even have the patch, the U.S. soccer patch. So that means that they're not, they're not official U.S. sanctioned referees, U.S. soccer sanctioned referees. Okay. So that's a big, big, big difference. But even then, some of these guys are still doing it just to get experience. It's not to say that they're not good at, their, at what they're doing. Yeah. It's that they're, up, they're getting experience, or some of them, some of them are just bad. Honestly, but some of them are still learning the profession. Yeah, I would, I would put it more more nicely. I would say they're they're still improving. So I got I got a question. Hello, guys. I got a question coming in on the guy who's forum right now. We got a question live. I got a question coming in on the guy's forum. Is it true? The last time, hold on, hold on. Let me read it. Is it true? The last time you played, uh, Harrington FC, they could not pay for the refs. Is that true? True or false? They couldn't get refs. They couldn't get refs, or they couldn't pay for the refs? They couldn't get refs. They said that they had refs coming, but they weren't able to show up that day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So let's train, let's train up the gossip. Let's train up the gossip. Because there's, you know, there's a lot of things. Oh, is it Arsenal or Harrington FC? Well, when, you, when you guys played them, what was it? Harrington? Okay, okay. Another fan is asking. Okay, we, so we're on the forum. We're on the forum right now. <laughs> But uh, I mean, I mean, they they say in the media guy that they're associated with Arsenal, so I don't know if that's a thing now or, or what. Oh, okay. What, 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 what's okay. The so, sort of like the Liverpool and the Dortmund thing that they got associated. With <laughs> yeah, <laughs> big one's a feeder. I think Arsenal. It's probably the parent company. Parent. Oh. Yeah, so well, back, back, to the, back to the referees, back, he's, you know, Gilbert, he's got to keep it classy because he's still not a paycheck, you know, he's, you know, he can't really dish out everything because, you know, <laughs> he's not trying to get sued. He's, he doesn't want the guy who's getting sued. A certain level of decorum is required. Thank Absolutely. You, I love it. And plus, he is, yeah, and he is, uh, you know, he's just a guest. He's just a guest <laughs> for the podcast. Just a guest. So, anyways. <laughs> a uh, recurring guest. A recurring guest. So, recurring back, guest. so, back to the whole refereeing. Um, okay, so, question. Have you guys discussed who do you think is the best player right now in the world? Have y'all discussed that? We're actually getting to that. In the entire Rohan League? Entire Rohan League? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 entire Rohan League, what you're saying. I mean, so, we could, yeah, go ahead. Let's answer it. <clears throat> I don't know. There's some, there's some good talent. Um, I think could we pull up the media page, maybe go through through the, the rosters. There's a media on the uh, on the Roma Roma League website. Yeah. Man, I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, it's on it's on their website. Go this down. Is the website. Yeah, yeah, go down. Down. Um, media, media guy. guy. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's some that's some really good players. I mean, um, Julian and Carlos. Um, I gotta say, guys, these podcast rooms is high tech. I love it. Thank you for inviting me. I love it. <laughs> are you are you a guest or? I'm a, a, a recruiting he's, guest. Okay. <laughs> he's a, he's a, as long well, as you keep Dre giving me the ears, I'll continue to come back. He's a, he's, a, he's a mystery guest, right? <laughs> mystery guest. Mystery guest. It's tough to say <laughs> who, who the best player is right now because I mean who's, who's we, we haven't played the Studiantes. Uh, we I haven't. Can, I can tell you right now. It's, it's Studiantes has a really good team. No, they do. Yeah. yeah. I really, I really like uh, their left winger. Who's their left winger? He's, um, he's legit. Uh, Julian? I think so. Um, he's playing, playing left wing, or they've got, um, um, they got a few good players. Um, obviously, they've got uh, Doyle, who played with them uh, a couple of seasons ago. Uh, good holding midfielder, can also play centre back, brings a lot of energy and, and quality on the ball. Um, he used to play, I think, for Manchester City um, Youth Academy and, and then came over to North Eastern State. Um, so he was a good big player, they've got um... So out of the Estudiantes, let's do this. Let's go roster by roster and pick up the best player for that team. So out of the, out of the Estudiantes, 
I need I need a nomination for the best. Hold oh, no, on, we still gotta go Diablo. Diablo. No, 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 no. We gotta yeah, go one. We gotta go team by team. Yeah, Diablo yeah, is the first thing. So Diablo is the Okay, Diablo, yeah, Diablo. So, I, mean, I mean, for the Diablos, yeah, you got you got Hayden Partain who scored a lot of goals for them in the um, in the summer. Roa League. Uh, Hayden or Harris? Uh, sorry, Harris, but ha Hayden Partain is also um, a bit of a player for them. Well. Played yeah. played USL before. Um, <laughs> So they got got some good players on that front. Um, I've heard of um, you know I, I was watching their game film against Harrington and Jenkins. Who they who was the second team they played? Oh, fuck. Uh, I can't remember, but I really like their forward man. Their forward is fun. he's 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 yeah, something what's else. His name? I think it's Perez. Oh, Antonio, Antonio yeah, Perez. That dude's a, he's just a gamer man. Oh, you yeah. can tell he's just all about it. He he might not be the most. Athletic looking person, but he's got the technique and he has that, <clears throat> that motivation. Team. Yeah, he's like, you can tell. So, are we nominating him as the best player? For I the mean, game? for me, I, would, I don't know. You may, you've seen, you've seen a lot of him. Um, so, I'm just going kind of on from last summer with Harris. Uh, yeah, Harris. Scored, I mean, scored, scored so, let's, let's, let's write his name on, on the wall, on the magic wall. You got the marker? No, I don't. Well, I thought you, I thought you got the marker. Give it back to you. Who's that marker? It's on the. Oh, there you go. Right his name on the wall. We saw it to hear from Yanos. Oh, oh, my bad, Right on the ahead. wall? Yes, yeah, right, right, right on the wall. Right on the wall. He gets to be on the wall because he's that good. No, he can't write on the wall. Yeah, hell yeah. He can be wiped off. Yeah. Yeah. Just, hey, if he gets a victory, he gets a victory. All right, so for the Outlaws, what is... This is the Outlaws. Hey, what's up? What about the Outlaws? Is he going to give his opinion? Yes, I'm going to give my opinion. All right, you got to see the difference between full body and full body. It was Elementor together. Let's go. Let's Tom Brady's not on that list, man. All right. Okay, so. we're losing the viewers. We're losing the viewers. What, who are we looking at right now? Diablos. This is, this we're is looking Diablos. at this is Hayden. Diablos. We're looking at Hayden and Antonio Perez. Yeah. I mean, you can pick anybody else, man. You can pick the one. Okay. No, no. Just, <laughs> just Hayden and Antonio. Hayden. Oh, you know why? Also, I like Perez. Hayden and hey. Antonio Perez. They have drawn your attention. For what reasons? What reasons? I mean, um, Harris goal is, scorer. Harris or? scored a lot of goals. Um, he had a really good season at um, at Tulsa. Okay. Last well, when it must have been a while ago. Last fall, really, when they played. So over a year ago now. So his ability um, to score goals in the final third yeah, is what drew your attention. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. So what drew your attention about Antonio Perez? I remember we played him over the summer. Okay. And he scored an absolute banger. Is it the, the was it the, one particular goal the, yeah, or is it the overall? His oh, is it the was it the long shot from? Uh, shot. Okay, so okay, we, so we got ten so seconds. Ten seconds. Seconds. We got ten seconds. We got ten seconds. We got ten seconds. Next. All right. Here we go. All right. I'll give mine to you, Harris. That was the greatest. I'll give mine to Harris. Overall performance, I give more credit to than. One miracle shot. It was a miracle shot. Okay, so who are we nominating on the first team? On the Diablos? I guess Partain. 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 Oh, okay. Well, what number is he? I don't know. Uh, we, we, it's, it's right there. It's not. We, 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 we got Partain. We got Partain. Right on the board. Partain. Partain. Right, right Partain on the list. All right. Partain. Okay, Partain. Okay. Aiden or Harris? Oh, yeah. Partain. Harris, right? Harris. He gets to be on the wall. Yeah. First yeah. Diviante is my... Um, that's pretty impressive hand right Yeah, that's pretty good going, I was going to say. I was going to be a teacher at one point. That's Don't do good. drugs, kids. You, you got to do the whole name, can't do the last name one? No. Oh my God. There's that, he's got a brother named Hayden. So. <laughs> there you can't. Yeah, yeah, All right, next, right, next, next. Next, next. Diviante is for we'll me. Lose, we'll lose the viewers. We'll lose the viewers, fellas. Next. Because we got the ghost in the background. Yes, to the antis. Yes, to the antis. We got to the antis. Me, me personally, I got to go with Julian. I mean, he's he's just stud. He's just stud. All through and through. I mean, he plays spectacular for MSU. He comes in, does his job, game after game after game. Yeah, he's really improved since the last time he was at the um, yeah, I think he, he was a little bit in and out of games, and now he's really taken, taken the game uh, to the players and driving at defenders. Creating stuff, um, confidence is sky high, and uh, he's, he's scoring goals right now for them. So, uh, another big sort of player for them is uh, Brandon Tobago. Um, I know he had a big, uh, big game for um, or a big season for SMU last last 
whatever college season that was, whenever that was. But 2019. He also went to uh, over to Tottenham after um, after that season and, and trained with them. So he's a he's a big player to watch out for. I think he only played his first game for them today, so it'll be interesting to see what, what his sort of thing is for that. Um, anyone else? Anyone else you guys think? think of this team? I mean, I would I really like Carlos. I like Carlos yeah. a lot because he's just he's just so he's just a he can play any position. Yeah. You put him at, and he'll do an excellent job. Yeah. Uh, but I agree. I mean, I I haven't seen this Brandon guy play, so I'm not quite sure what he's about. I'm just knowing his background. Is but kind of... I, I agree with you. I like Julian. Yeah. yeah. Julian? No, I I go with Julian. So go ahead and go, Julian. Yeah. yeah. Julian. Julian. So we're gonna do this, uh, fans. We're gonna do this. We're gonna write down the best player that we think from each team and at the end of the Roja League we're gonna pick we're gonna pick the MVP for the all the for the entire season yeah. and we're gonna bring him onto the podcast and we're gonna interview him and we're gonna have we're him gonna on chat some shit. we're gonna have him on <laughs> so next yeah, next we got Harrington Harrington. So we got Harrington so we got to got a good look at them today um so hey that little guy number 22 he's fast i ain't gonna lie that guy's talented man yeah, it was good. He was yes good. He was good. Had, what's his good. name hernandez. the rev kid the rev son leo hernandez man he the is kid. he's fast <laughs> the rev kid oh. God, he's so fast man <laughs> <laughs> Leonardo hernandez. hey but you know what he's refereeing another game he's refereeing in the roca league his dad and his brother <laughs> oh i don't like that I don't like that. Come on, Hitch. 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 All right, so, 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 we're, we're, so who are we going to pick? Uh, yeah, that's a good player today. 22 um, was really good. I'm going to yeah. go, uh, where's he at? What's his name? What's his name? Oh, Sebastian Mendez. I mean, he's quick. He doesn't stop ever playing. He, he, scored, he scored the PK on us. He's just... He's a good player. Plain and simple. He gets down to it and he gives it his all. For me, that was, that's their player right now to watch. Yeah, no, for sure. I thought their, uh, their goalkeeper was... Their goalkeeper made some big saves, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that we tested it much today, but I think he's, he's pretty solid and um, it's a commanding presence back there. We got six minutes left. Good distribution, good size, and then made, made, the, made the saves that he needed to make today. And, um, I'd probably, probably give it to him. Or, Okay. Like Does he give it to him? Gilbert? I don't know, man. Good. That's that's a tough one. I, I I think those two guys. They got a lot of ballers. I ain't gonna lie. They got ballers, man. Yeah. Some good players. Yo. I gotta give a they shout out to talent. my boy uh, Sammy Alvarado, though. The old man coming in and making the 18. Make the appearance. You know, yeah. Urban FC gives Urban FC gives a lot of shit to Harrington, but like uh, I'll say it again, they've done a great job. They got a lot of ballers. So who, who are we going with? Well, I think we got to go with Spence, Spencer's boy, you know. Yeah, twenty-two, you know. We we, we can give it to uh, you. Sebastian, this is your uh... or, or Spencer. Wait, what? Yeah, what, what, what is Just that? from the game, twenty-two. Hernandez was nonstop. He was no, always no, on the, no. He was just going nonstop. Leonardo Hernandez. All right. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I like the show. Hey, we'll give, we'll give Spence, you know. Some, uh, All right, so who, who are we going to get? All right, so here we go. Got, we got uh, him. Four, now we're on to four. Please don't pick the coach. <laughs> Where is the coach? Which one's the coach? Mitchell? Mitchell? All right, I go with Mitchell. Mitchell, Mitchell. Yeah, he is. Mitchell despite our, so our he, phantom guest. Has he yeah. been starting, though? Has he been playing? I think the first game he started. Yeah. He started. Because they only had 12 players. Okay, okay. What happened? I think the fact that you can not pay over there or what? You can only yes. muster 12 players. I guess they're uh, struggling right now. COVID, COVID. Hey, COVID baby, COVID. Yeah, yeah, they've got a lot of experience, you know, players that have been around DFW for a long time and, and played at a good level for a long time. So they, they definitely can have the experience. You've got um, Vic Mora Leeway played at the Sidekicks and um, played at Midwestern State with me. He was a senior when I was a freshman, actually. Oh, Vic Moore's moved um, to four right now. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, he's been with the Vaqueros for a bit, yeah, played with the sidekicks. You've got Jamie Lovegrove, who's played the Vaqueros. Played, so, quick question, quick times. question. How many teams in this league right now are paying their players? Probably just one. Yeah. Just uh, one. Yeah. So. I don't know. Probably just one, right? Just one. But we don't, I mean... I don't know. I mean, I, I can see a lot, some players from... So, from, when, from, uh, I can when I think right about now, it, I think about mercenaries of uh, athletics. You know, the guys that will not play anywhere but somewhere that will pay them. That doesn't guarantee the best quality. That guarantees somebody who will put forth their best effort only, only when they're guaranteed a paycheck. 
that does not guarantee quality. Hey, if you don't work, you don't leave. If you don't grind, you don't shine. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think they, they definitely got the experience, though. And I mean, I mean, this is like the this is like the who's who of Dallas soccer right here. I mean, yeah. you've got Miles Baez. I mean, he used to be in the U17. Yes. Oh, but what is the I mean, record? Really what is the record? Right? I know Dwyer's not even like the top ten. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you got, look at this like on the players to watch. Yeah. Arturo Rodriguez. He's just the recent USL one MVP. But what is he was the MVP in USL? But do we know? Yeah. But is what is he the playing for us? That's, but what, he, that's he, what we don't know. He just transferred to some. So, some yeah, exactly. Team. That's what I'm talking about. Let's be real. And then uh, we go. Okay. 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 And then so let me look. Let me say something. Let me say something. Tell me, man. Order, order, order. Let me say something. Could we really judge this list? Because we don't know if this is bullshit or not. Because a lot of these players don't even know from what that we've been told. That they don't the even team. know that they're playing or they're listed on, on Photo's roster. They don't even know. So you. let's be real about it. I mean, can we really judge this bullshit list? I let's be real. I mean, you still have some players. That, I mean, they don't even I'm, know they're there. I'm gonna put Chicharito on, on uh, you know, on uh, uh, Inocentes. Garbage. I'm gonna put him on a Chicharito and Inocentes and say that he was playing there. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Yeah, so who can we really judge that we know he's actually I, I, playing? I, I can tell you, Miles and Anthony. Anthony oh. Manning is a he's a fucking. Okay, so who are we he's gonna who are we gonna uh, nominate? Who we go on today? Anthony. Let's go with it. Okay. I mean, he should play with the Sounders. So All right. right. He must be. Yeah. All right. Let's go, Anthony. Right. I'm I'm going, I got my fourth one. I got. Charge the pen to that side after this one. Anthony Manning, you can go miles. You can go miles. Anthony Manning. Got the Vaqueros. Opening game against Vaqueros. I think this is easy, man. Their keeper. Yeah. No, he Their keeper. Out of very good game. Against uh, Vaqueros. I mean, who's, who's, who's yours? If this is easy. I mean, we would. We would made shot. nonstop shots at their keeper. And Vaqueros would have been the best keeper. Yeah. 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 Rio Ramirez is probably the best, best player. Yeah, I mean, he... And then not, not far behind is Adon. So we're looking for the best. We don't care who's behind him. Who's behind him. Okay, we're looking for the best. In my opinion, it's got to be keep self Seth Olsen. I mean, yeah. he, he let some... I don't want to say easy ones go in, but he made a couple mistakes last week, maybe, after watching the game for me against 4-0. Yeah. But against us, he made... He was he really big saves. saves. I mean, we're doing the play. We're not doing it against us. We're doing this for the for the you know for the whole for the whole thing. So yeah, it's made was... mistakes in the last one, and maybe I don't know. Maybe yeah, Real, I guess. I mean, I haven't seen today's game. They kept a clean sheet today. Real Ramirez scored the winning goal today. Scored the winning goal for him, and kept a clean sheet today. Kept a clean sheet against us, maybe. So who is it? I mean, if we're going that yeah, route, we'll go real. Let's do it. That's the pen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, you can't put mine right against that, I promise you. <laughs> 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 no, you got you set the standard. We got the PE teacher over here. Yeah, you know, we got the PE teacher. You gotta go and put it like that. Rio, just put Rio H. Yeah. Rio R. Rio R. There you go. Rio, Rio, you got it. Just Rio Ramirez, you know you got it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh this is a oh, good one. Oh, we know, we know where the game is. Hey, I'm not voting Anthony Powell. Uh, Anthony Powell. Uh, hey, he's a baller, boy. That, boy, that boy's a baller. Number seven. Oh, yeah. He's a baller. It's got to be Juan Luis Salas. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we continue. They couldn't, they couldn't, fill, they don't know how to fill out forms or what? What is this bullshit? <laughs> they don't know how to fill out forms? What are you talking about? Look at this! Half it, what is this? And then she didn't go to college. Oh I mean, my I'm god, not... <laughs> there we go. Did you go to college? I'm gonna email them. This is bullshit. So let's do it. So what, what are we doing here? Man, this was... I mean, at the moment, you kind of got to give it to Juan Luis, right? Yeah. I mean, he scored four goals in the opening game. He came in against us. Their He's goal, came, their goal came off his complaint, yelling at the ref. I mean, took all of us off the So Surprised yeah. the ref didn't card for that. Yeah, but I mean, it, it made a difference. He came in, he made a difference, they scored a goal. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, I, He's yeah. balling. He's balling. Yeah, let's go with Salas there. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's give it to him. You, you give it Juan to Luis. Him. Yeah. Hey, that's hey, that's impressive. Because oh, there here's, wasn't a lot of conversation. Uh, here's the juicy one. Hey, should, should we save? Okay, okay. Hey, should, so, should we save hours for less? Okay. Last? Yeah, we'll do the last. Yeah, we'll yeah, do the we'll last. Yeah. We'll do premier, premier. Premier, we'll do premier. Oh. Premier, we've got a lot of, uh, be honest, man. A lot of good talent. Um, Might be young talent. A lot of young talent. I know um, yeah. Jose Ortiz has scored um, scored a lot of goals um, through the high school level and the club level, and um, now he's at 
as a SMU and um, what made, make an impact. I think he scored, did he score? He scored in the... He scored against in the centres, yeah, twice. against in the centres twice, so I mean, he's a good goal scorer on that front. I mean, it's a tough one, yeah. to be honest. But yeah, no, I mean, I don't know how much Pacheco has done for him, but Pacheco was with us last season. He just got the Guatemala call up. So to the under twenty three national team, so good for him there. there. Yeah, oh, okay. yep. just got a call up there, baller, little stud. But uh, as far as this season goes, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I'm, personally, I'm, he, got, he, got sent, he got sent off the first yeah, game. Hey, off. I gotta say, guys, Texas is missing this podcast. We're 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 giving a lot of exposure. This is great. The, the guys are gonna live. This is amazing, you know. No, so no, go ahead. So who are we gonna be nominating? Man, that's this is a tough one to be honest. Because I mean. They're all good. I mean, they're all good. They're, they're all, all good, good, but nobody's There's a lot of competition. Nobody's stepped up. Yeah, really. nobody's really I stepped up. I mean, it's been very, very similar to us. Fuck it. Give it to the coach. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> give it to Dante. Right? I, mean, I, think, I think you got to give it to Dante. <laughs> they got a water boy. They got a water boy in there. Give it to the water boy. Give it to the water boy. Player of the season so far. I think you got to give it to Jose Ortiz, honestly. I'm not too Give it to Jose. Give it to Jose. Who you got to go for, so. Yeah, that one's a tough one. Okay, so so next. Before we start this one. No favorites, okay? We're not gonna be saying because he shows up to practice, he's getting it. None of that bullshit. Yeah, no, okay. No, yeah. And, and you know, just because you know he's my brother, I give it to him. None of that. <laughs> None of that. So what is it? He's let in three goals. So. so who is it? So who's 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 the who's the player? Let's be real. I mean, we gave today's <laughs> player the match to Colby. But it's a it's a player or is it you know the best player on the team? I don't know. I mean, Colby's been consistent. Colby's he's a consistent he's performer consistent. for us. Yeah, he's, absolutely. I wouldn't say he's ever going to be a, a nine or a ten out of a ten every day, but he's going to be, you know, a seven and eight every every game he plays. He's consistent um, on that front. I think Callum. Um, Callum has been very consistent in the midfield of keeping it ticking. Um, Edgar's been falling as well. I mean, I like what Edgar Defensively, we've been, we've been pretty solid. Um, I think I think Corey. Corey's come in with his leadership and, and really helped us out there at the back as well. So um, I think I mean there's a lot of players up up for grabs that that have uh, been scooted in that, that have got a chance. And I'll, I'm interested to hear what 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 our technical director says first. And you know before we giving it the nod. Maybe this so. this one's a this one's a it's pretty tough. I think I think you hit hit it right on the head. I think Colby's been really impressive. I really like his attitude. His just the way his demeanor to the game, he does. What I like about him, he's always cool. He's never up or down. Um, I like Colby. I, I also like Callum. Callum has been really, really impressive. I think just the way he carries himself, the way he he shows leadership out there. You hear him yelling at all the players, "Hey, do this. Hey, get in this position. Hey, I need you over here." Um, and also Edgar. Edgar. I mean, I don't know how this guy runs for so much. I mean, this guy's all over the field. He's just pressuring every single inch of the field. Um, that'd be the, for me to be between those three right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I give it to uh, my opinion is we have a lot of ballers. But, but uh, I'll say if I had to pick one out of those three, shoot, man, that's a tough one. I think I would pick out of those three. I would for pick me, Callum. I'm going to go Callum as well. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm, I'm go Callum. Well, I I believe we have a lot of ballers and. Uh, I saw him today, I shook his hand, and I told him he was my favorite player, and I'll say it again, I'll say it today, number 22. Kyle Backus. Yes, Kyle sir. Backus. He's got a good Backus shot. That fucking yeah. guy is a dog. <laughs> I love him. Yeah, no, You know, uh, he gives 110% all the time. He brings a lot. He brings a lot of extra to the game. Absolutely. He, absolutely. He's got the passion. Hey, he and he's got a mouth, forward. boy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's got a mouth. Yeah, he's, he's a dog. I love it. He's yeah. 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 He's a guy, yo. We're going crackers actually, so. Yeah, crackers back. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's tough, man. He's, um. So, who, okay, okay, guys, so we're gonna, who are we gonna give it to? We'll give it to Callum. Callum, yeah, we'll give it to Callum. 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 Man, it's tough because all the, all the, since you, you know these guys, you're with them all the time in practice, it's yeah. sort of hard to pick one because. I mean, I like Q. Q, uh, Q is just... Oh, he's a baller, too. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, it's sort of tough to say somebody else besides the defense, but I think just Callum, the, just the way he's able to... What he brings and how he holds himself as well. I mean, he's just... all, all Well, through all, all in all, he's just 
all around good player. So. Well, viewers, you 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 heard it all. You see it all. First podcast. You so see that we know that fuck around, and we got the names right there on the wall for the future MVPs. MVPs. Uh, can you name them out, please, Clarvis? We got Harris. We got Julian. We got Leonardo. Anthony. Rio. Juan. Jose. Jose and Calvin. Okay, guys. So we got those guys. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do an MVP of the league at the end of the season. And we're going to invite one of those guys to come out here, drink with us, have a good time, and get an interview. So we'll announce the winner at the end of the league, and uh, we'll invite him out. And uh, if that guy's out of town, we'll be paying for a ticket to bring him out because we're making it happen. All right, guys, so... I think, uh, uh, think that's good from us here at El Gallinero. El Gallinero. <laughs> In and out. Vamos, Vamos Gallos. I want to hear, 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 hear Spencer say it. What? what El Gallinero. El Gallinero. <laughs> <laughs> uh,